this is a quick um, nail mix that I wanted to do. Um, I haven't done one in a little while, so I just thought Valentine's is closer, so then I try doing a Valentine's mix. So let's begin. I got this sand, purchased purchased it in um. Now let me move this. The Dollar Tree. It's a big old bag. I know I've seen a couple of ladies. But they also got it. It's a good deal. Very, very good deal. I got a black one, a red one, and a white one. So this will be my base. Um, and I'm going to add about, I'm going to say two tablespoons. Because it is my base. So then I'm going to add about... I'm going to use the blush by Recollections and I'm going to use about, I'm going to say one, one teaspoon. So this is a half and I'm going to be doing two of these. So that's one, two, so that's one teaspoon. Then I'm going to be using the red from recollections and it's cherry i'm going to be doing half a teaspoon for this one because it is kind of a big glitter see so as you can see it kind of smears by itself so that's half I'm going to use the Muse from Recollections as well, and it's purple, fine glitter, and I'm going to do half a teaspoon as well, just because it's dark and I don't want it to make the mix so dark. So I thought that my colors for mixing this one would be just pink, purple, red. Usually that's the colors that you associate with um, Valentine's Day. So I thought it would be good. Um, I'm going to also be using tinsel, which is blush from Recollections as well. And I'm going to do half a teaspoon of that as well. Maybe a little less. Okay. Then I'm going to use the shakers from Walmart and they're the holographic one. This is the purple holographic one. This one takes a little bit of time, all of them. So I'll just, I'm going to say about a quarter of a teaspoon you want in there. It's really up to you, whichever, you know, you like. But I'm going to say about a quarter and it just takes a while shaking this. So that's the purple, and I'm going to do it in red as well. <laughs> it's from the same set. It's like the cherry color, holographic red tinsel. So we're going to do about a quarter as well. So again, we're shaking, shaking until we get about a quarter. You know, like I said before, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. But I'm doing a quarter. I have another wheel. It's a little caddy that I got from Walmart. And I'm going to be using this pink one right here. And this purple one. They're both iridescent. And I'm going to do about one teaspoon of each. So, see if I can get that out. That's half. Another one. And that's about one. And then we're going to use the purple one. And again, I'm going to use one teaspoon. It's all over the place. One teaspoon. And then we're going to use a Martha Stewart these hexes 
and they're holographic. It's a red one. It's called Garnet. So we're going to use half a teaspoon of that one. Since they're so big, we don't want it to overpower. I mean, we might need more or less. So more. But we'll see at the end. And I'm sorry, there's an airplane passing by. Sorry about that. So moving on, we're also going to use the rhombus shape, which is called uh, Tourmaline from Martha Stewart as well. So you can't really see it. My camera doesn't focus much. But there you go, Tourmaline. And we're going to do half a teaspoon as well. So, we got this in one. No, 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 come on. What is in here? And then, after that, I also have these um, rhombus, holographic <gasps> rhombus that I got from eBay. It's a set. And they're holographic, so I'm going to use purple uh, like a fuchsia color and I'm just gonna say about a quarter of a teaspoon in there so it's a quarter of each so it's a fuchsia a purple and a pink about a quarter of each so then from Pink Nail Designs, I got um, this little package of glitter, which is very fine glitter, as you can see. So I'm just going to put, I'm going to say about a quarter of a teaspoon. Not a lot, because I don't want it to really stick. So we're just going to do about, I'm going to say about a quarter. Not a lot. And then, from also from, from Pink Nail, I got these holographic red parts, so I'm going to use about a quarter of a teaspoon as well. And from Glitter Unique, I'm going to use these holographic red hearts, quarter of a teaspoon. From Glitter Unique as well, these neon pink hearts. Neon pink hearts. I'm gonna use about a quarter of a teaspoon. A quarter and a teaspoon. Maybe more. I like this one a lot. So you like maybe it? you can use half a teaspoon. So then I have these females or polymer clay, their hearts, and I'm just gonna throw in all the pink ones in there. It's not a lot of them, but. And I have some red ones, so I'm gonna put the red ones. And purple, again, keeping with the theme, using the same colors. So we'll put in the purple. So let's mix it up and see what we have. And maybe in the camera you can't really see it, but it's like super shiny. Super, super shiny. I like the hearts popping out a lot. And which they're supposed to because it is a type of Valentine mix. And I like that the sand makes it to a point where not everything is sticking. It's just mixing so i like it a lot it's coming out very very nice um i also forgot to mention i got these containers at do the dollar tree i've got some squared ones and some round ones and i believe there's like 
six little containers per package. Got them at the Dollar Tree. Thought it was a good deal. And I like them. The bad thing is that they're not clear, but they're a little older. I also got green. So, here's the mix. I hope you guys can see the shine. It shines very, very nicely. Just purple, red, and pink. So I'm gonna try to focus the camera and see if it'll show. Let's see. There it goes. Sorry if I'm shaking, my son is moving me. But there's the mix. Hope you guys liked and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.